Aya honeys. Welcome back to my spooky little corner. For those who don't know me, I am Lady Mylita and I bid you welcome. Okay, my honeys, I have something a little different for you today. Today we're going to test something else out because as you can see, I've got a full face of makeup already. So today we are testing out the Norwex Makeup Remover Cloths. This is something I've been interested in trying out, so I thought I would buy a package of them and try them out with you and let you know what I think. So if that sounds something you'd be interested in watching, stay tuned and let's dive in. Okay, my darklings, so let's talk about these makeup remover cloths. They are from a company called Norwex. And Norwex is all about um, cleaning solutions that don't use harsh chemicals and keeping us more safe from those type of chemicals and what have you. So I'm just on their webpage right now. So the pack of three washcloths here is $23.99 Canadian. And so let's just read a little bit about it. So it says, remove makeup, eyeliner, and even mascara without soap or cleansers. Just moisten one of these soft suede cloths with warm water and gently wipe face upward and outward. Perfect for all skin types, included irritated, mature, oily, and sensitive skin. So let's see. So it also says, facial cleansing products can zap the skin of moisture, making you look older. They can also irritate sensitive skin and can even cause flare-ups for those who are prone to eczema. So how can you clean your face, facial skin gently and effectively without resorting to harsh products or going to a lot of expense? So... Cleanse, okay, so this is their solution, are these cleanse delicate facial skin and even remove eye makeup just using water and our makeup removal cloths instead of often expensive scrubs and cleansers that can over dry and irritate your skin. Clean, cleanse it gently and effectively with a super soft microfiber cloths. Okay, so let's see what else it says in here. Mm-hmm. So back lock, the micro silver agent in cloths ooh, goes to work with self purification properties against mold, fungi and bacterial odor within 24 hours so that you can use it again. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so let's see if I can find the how do we use this? Where is it? It just says to moisten it. Use and care. Oh, here we go. Okay, so moisten cloth under running water. Wring out and gently wipe face and delicate eye area using upward and outward strokes. Okay, that sounds simple enough. Okay, so, and if you guys are interested in this product or this company, I will put the link down below so you can go and check them out. They do like house parties and online parties, and that's actually where I got these was from an online party that a friend held on Facebook. So, it's really easy and accessible. So, all right, so I do have just a bowl of warm water here, so we'll just use that and wring it out. What color should we? Let's use green today. Want to use green? So I'm going to just dunk it in. I know they say to use a like run it underwater, but I don't have a tap right here. So we'll just use this and we'll wring it out really good. Okay, so now it's just, it's damp, as they say. Okay, so I do have a little bit of eyeliner on here. So let's just try this. Well, that's not coming off. What if I use the other side? Maybe I need the other side. Okay, maybe it's just the side. Ah, it came off a bit. It didn't come off great, but we're going to give this a try on my face. So first things first, let's take off the eyelashes because 
those don't clean off. Um, I am wearing full face today. I even have contour and everything else on. So I'm just going to dump this one more because I want to make sure I got enough moisture in it. Okay, so upwards and outwards. Okay, so here we go. Well, look at that. It came off. But that's the easy stuff, right? Foundation, lipstick. Okay, it is coming off. Upward. <laughs> All right, do I like, I'm going to rinse it because I got a lot of makeup on here or do I just keep using the same side? There's my lipstick today. Okay, I'm just going to dump this in and kind of re-wet it. Don't see it. Still looks like it's almost all on the cloth, even rinsed it. All right, we'll just use the other side. Okay, so let's try this eye. Okay, ready? One, two. An eyeliner still on there. All right. So upward, upward, and outward. Well, I don't know. This is taking an awful lot. Let's dampen her up again. Okay. Let's try the other one. Seeing as this side worked better, maybe we should try this. All right, we're going to use this side. And see how this works. I know it's already got like foundation and lipstick, but let's try. Okay. And then we go outward. I don't know, guys. This is taking a lot of work getting this off. It worked great on the foundation, but it's not really working on um, the eye makeup. Yeah, it takes off the foundation lovely, but I don't see. And like I'm putting a lot of pressure on my eyes and they say not to, but My delicate eye area and all this but well it doesn't look so good all right we're gonna dunk it one more time and try once more on the eyes but they are it's not coming off not as easily as they're making it sound like even mascara and everything else well and like the makeup's really holding into the the cloth itself. I'll try this side. And yeah, it's all still there. It did really do well for the foundation though, but for eye makeup, obviously not any good. So Peeps, my honeys, my dark ones, save your money. That obviously didn't work out very well. And I'm going to have to use my trusty Neutrogena eye makeup remover because that is what I use all the time and it always comes off. But save your money, my dark ones. That didn't work very well. I will try it again, but, you know, I did full face for a reason because that's normally what I do. But I wanted to really, really test this well for you. So... I would say it is a flop. <laughs> okay, my lovelies, you know where to find me on the off times. You can find me on Facebook 
or on Instagram at Lady Mylita. And on Sundays, I always go live at 4.30 Eastern and we do our makeup and we chit chat and you can always come and hang out with me uh, and leave your ideas or tricks or, you know, suggestions. I'm always looking for new products to try. And if there's something you really like, let me know. I'm down. I'm really down for trying all this stuff out. As always, please stay safe and be good to one another. Goodbye, my darklings.